All right, this will be a weird video, an interesting one. I'll be recycling through laptops. I've got many jobs um, I've got to go through. But the problem is I'm missing like board level components. I've got these laptops here, it's been sitting. I'm going to go quickly recycle them all, the parts, organize them, and then um, get onto my daily job exercise. So here I've got here um, PC jack box. Uh, LVDS cable, speaker, daughter board box, um, um, ribbon cables box, Wi Fi chip box, and pads, and etc. Screws box. And we're gonna go through a whole bunch of laptops here, see what I can salvage from them quickly, and put everything else in the proper recycling. So, none of these laptops are useful to me. Okay, this is my kids working on it. Screen I don't need, maybe parts from there. So we're gonna do a quick, very fast disassembly, removal as many components as possible. Okay, so let's go ahead. So this material here, it can be used for doing keyboard welding. Some rubber rubber bits, plastics. Okay, so let's see now. It's a battery for this model. We'll never need. Battery will go into recycling. Screws. So you have to be like less than 10 minutes per laptop. It should be finished very quickly. Interesting. This is clearly designed for the school environment. So as you can see, it's got so, there's so many cells. And US re XL. This will never get used, unfortunately. It will go into recycling. Okay. We'll get that tape. Um, this connector we will never use. Okay. That's fine. That's going to go in recycling. So for now, anything that's recycling or rubbish, I'll put them there. No, I'll sort it out. Okay. <clears throat> Ribbon cables will need. Okay, hinge needs to come off for this, so here we go. Speaker, we don't really need for this particular model. But this board, you know, we can make easy couple of hundred or even more when the time comes. For example, they need a special connector on the border place or a USB port or etc. That's where it will come handy. If these two jacks can be used. I have no use for these. These are useful. They are in the HDD HDD section. Do I have that? Wires and connectors. What's in there? Okay, these are like the wires and connectors box. Bunch of rubbish in there. Okay, um, HDD connector, we'll keep it separate for now. We've got another one here. We'll keep these together. I have a box somewhere, we'll find it later, no problem. Speaker we want to use. Power button will be handy. Okay, 
it should be in the upstairs I don't know but she didn't take it with her sorry Ali I didn't bring it home no she didn't take it with her I didn't see it she of course she did remember he was in your bed in the up on the top Go to board. They go there. Okay, one sec. Okay, let's quickly get on with this. Normally, I'll take out the trackpad, but we don't really need. So we'll take these small screws, which can be used on LCD bezels and other areas. Okay, that's it. Ribbon cable we're not going to use. So this is done. Now here, keyboard connector is off. Okay. Let's have a look on the microscope quickly, which parts we need to scavenge off this board uh, that we will organize. And then we will put the board into a special box of motherboards, where in the future then we can use, um, we can use, Jesus. We can use a, um, for the USB ports and other small ports on it, so, alright, so what are these chips, um, that looks like a BAC, and that one, I don't know, 8IC, okay, they need to go, here we go. BIOS chips We'll take that APW, yes BQ, yes, there's a MOSFET there, yes Real take no. 3H, yes. MOSFET, yes. BIA, yes. Three H another one. We don't know what that is. It could be USB related. A couple of MOSFETs. Giant diode. Capacitor. Okay, we don't worry about that one. And that's all it for this side, except what's that? It's an important one. Okay, nothing else on this side. <clears throat> on the other side, we got an E and E chip. This is a ninety twenty two. This is a programmable one.
more MOSFETs. <coughs> This is, uh, I've seen this similar chip, this is important. This is where you can check the 3 volts, 5 volts, etc. Thanks to the Lenovo I was working on before. I didn't know about that until now, so... You learn more from failing jobs, non-successful jobs, than successful jobs. But you need more motivation to continue or work when you keep dealing with failed jobs. It's very difficult. And one more guy there. Similar to the other one. Okay, done. So basically we're done with this, um, now this port is quite popular, I already have a box for it, so you will just go into that box. Hey. DC jacks. Like that DC jack, easy, you know, 120, 140, 180, depending on the job or the client. So that motherboard is going to go into motherboard box. Next one. Oh yeah, the screen. Anything to use out of this. Honestly, nothing. Just maybe magnets. Engines are not going to be useful. LVDS cable. Let's just have a look, see if there is anything interesting. Yeah, these screws are valuable. I do a lot of the HP hinge repairs. These screws are invaluable. Okay, off you go. There's a Wi-Fi cable. This one is part of the screen, okay. Interesting, it's got a sensor on the side. Kind of weird, but I sometimes keep, I think, should I keep this one? Let me see. No, not this one. But I take those connectors out. They can be useful. In rare situations, I'll just do that now for this model. Um, actually, I'll take out the bottom. Ali, what's up? What, what happened? <laughs> oh, he's warming up his body. Which bird is that? Uh, we got Sydney water.
Okay, we need a cutting tool. So these connectors can be used. There's um, high valued capacitors and EDID chips, which we may in the future use. Off you go into recycling. So that's laptop one complete. Okay, this is another one. What is this? Acer CB. Sounds like Chromebook. Yeah, Chromebook. Okay, battery, which we'll never use for this one. Sure, I'm coming. Okay, here we go. Door board. On board RAM. Curious to know which what type of RAM they're using there. Okay, anything else we need here? Pretty much a no is the answer. This is Jack definitely. It's the Acer type, great. <clears throat> well, ten eighty P. This may we should be able to use the screen, yeah. All right, so what we'll do? Okay, I'll damage the screen, that's fine. Oh yeah, we're gonna use anything out of here. No, normally, I'll take the webcams out. So there are little magnets here, which we can use. Okay, same thing here.
any magnets on this frame. No, okay, done. Oh, where is that? Yeah, the motherboard is here. So it uses a sand disk. So this kind of motherboard, right? I normally keep without touching because 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 if it needs to do data recovery on a job where it uses the same chip, you can just remove that, rebuild, put it on here. So I have similar motherboards like this. That's going to stay. But let me see if there's any particular chip that I'm looking for. I will take a look. Yeah, just standard MOSFETs. EQ. Been born. Nothing. Nothing of interest there. Just MOSFETs. So what kind of RAM? Samsung RAM. Okay. So this board will be kept for data recovery. If you want to know what kind of the um, SMC, um, EMMC memory card they use, so that's SanDisk, it's a 32 gig version. Yeah, it's a BGA type. Okay, it's going to be on the good side. Now let's have a look at the next one. So we're out of two laptops in under 23 minutes. Okay, we need to do this faster. These are the old ones. We're never going to use these. In the bin they go. Okay. DVD drive, unfortunately, no more. Battery. We take the cells out of these, but I already have so many. Okay, what does that say? This is Jack we may use, so keep that on the side. It's one of the shitty ones, so you can go in the all the DC Jack box. Ribbon cable. If you are practicing learning how to repair motherboards, these are great boards to play with. You shouldn't have much difficulty finding uh, schematics and whatnot. This Wi-Fi chip is very old. Normally we'll take it, but this one is very old. Not worth it. Okay, there we are. Motherboard. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with this screen. Oh, maybe there is something. Let me have a look. Some magnets, maybe. Okay, these screws are done. Okay. Well, straight into the No, it's a 30 pin. Oh, it's got a crack. Okay.
So this is a common type, so we're going to keep that. Let's see LVDS. All of this in the bin, any magnets. It's got a microphone and camera there. I used to keep these heat sinks and fans, but not anymore. Okay, anything interesting here? Have a quick look. We still keep these all the boards. They still have some useful components for other repairs. So anything interesting? That's a not a MOSFET. Uh, these two are MOSFETs. What is that? You. 17 equals to can be smelly. BQ 727 popular getting old now MOSFET MOSFET So these diodes, they can be useful yeah, around the battery connector especially. The designs don't change much on them. It's a BIOS chip, probably a 4 megabyte. They don't contain, oh they do contain, yeah they do have a Windows serial number. 85, 78, 85, 87E. Okay, so we can practice on these programming, no problemo. Alright, and here. MU3 something, interesting. There's some other chip here. All right, so this board, anything else important to me on the other side, real tech, no, no, what is that? Yep, this guy is.
and this guy and I think that guy too yep okay this motherboard can go into its special box now next one that was 23 we did it in nine minutes let's go some of the connectors fell out due to the heat here we go what is this guy this is a uh 1110 horrible machine okay correct Okay, let's get to the bottom of this guy. Okay, this battery is never going to be used. If this one can come out, no, it doesn't. All right, there you go. Old connector, fan, no. no. Why don't we take the... Okay, what we'll do... Here you go, here you go. All right, the number one that's all you're useful for. I'm not gonna bother with the screen for this. Okay, anything useful here? Okay, let's go. First it as usual. No idea what you are. No idea what you are. No, what time? No. No bias chip. Nope. Nope. What's that? BIA
Yep. On board ram. Take these guys. AWB, we got a million of them. Another one. Okay. And that's it. Next. Wow, what the hell is this? Oh, oh uh, yeah, they used to be good. Anything interesting there? Uh, just a screw holder there. No magnets. No, okay. Okay, this used to be a good model, a light book. Okay, looks daunting, there's so many freaking screws, okay, let's just get to it. It's annoying. Okay, there's so many of these tiny. Can't believe it, I've got it from the PS PS5 job. Hi. Those screws can be pain, so I never keep them in the same box. These pads are useful sometimes, depending on the job. Ooh. 
You tell me that's not cool. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's the bottom part. Nothing needed. Fan. It's actually a good fan, but still. With age, we're not going to be able to use it. Antenna wires, no. Okay. This motherboard is technician's nightmare. Not a working wall. Hello, is Sir Can speaking? Okay, I've got to get through this very quickly now. I've got enough time now. Off, 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 one more screw here. Okay, done. Okay, we're done here. Okay. Okay, one, two, two more laptops to go. And why don't we check that might amount to later? Okay. All those screws are gonna go in the bin. Bin bin bin. Okay. Done. Interesting bits and connectors. Okay, here we go.
Nope, nope, these are USB. CQ71 something. More MOSFET in the tires. See, this board is uh, thick. Unlike that Lenovo 100, S100 something. Everything melts on it. Both on the other side. More MOSFET. This board is a bit raised. More MOSFET. Yep. This chip provides the LDOs. This looks like a TPM module, which very well could be. I don't know why this model, because there's these buttons, you know, they're useful for other repairs in the future. What are these? Uh, yep, TPS. Maybe USB. We don't know. ISL something 95836 So much. I remember it was, uh, I think, Louis Rothman, or he said the way you can practice learning is by cheaply working laptop, maybe motherboard, it's partially working or working. It's slowly going to just take one component out and then put it back and see if it works. Great. And then try another component, try another component, bit by bit, slowly, one at a time. Um, Succeeding the, of course, CPU is going to be very difficult, but all the QFN chips are the most difficult you know, for beginners. So you can do MOSFETs, capacitors, resistors, coils, good practice work. After putting it back in, back in, then attempt to see, see if the computer works or you ruined it or not. That's a great way to learn. That's an SMS, SMSC one. I haven't seen the BIOS chip unless I remove that. Let me see. Unless they're using all the type. Well, I haven't gone through the other side, of course. Okay. More MOSFETs here. Okay, let's go. So many MOSFETs, it's mental.
Um, so this one uses a um, machining and smaller bios chip. Maybe that guy there? No. Already taken it out. Okay. Very hot. It's curious where the where the uh, bias chip was, but. Either I've already taken it out. Oh my god, that's the BIOS chip. Wow. Haven't seen that before. 25Q128. Wow. For such an old age motherboard. So we one um, 32 megabyte BIOS file. That's crazy. Okay, off you go. Only one left. Two left, here we go. All the cycling. What is this? Looks like a compact, yeah. HP compact. Good old compact. How many screens did I change on this while? A lot. Hello, Mr. Kahn speaking. Uh, yes, we do. Uh, when that comes in, can you... Sorry, it uh, depends on the model. Which one do you have? Okay, let's finish that up. Nothing to use from here. Oh, this is uh, quite an old one. I'm not sure if we can find anything useful in this guy. Honestly, this one is very old. 
uh, quality jewel. I'm not even going to waste time on this. We have a lot of um, MOSFETs and things, so that's... Uh, no, no, we don't even need the battery. Okay, that will be the end. So thanks for watching. See you in the next one.